99 won the whale free zone in the morning i am jim free and i'm joined on the phone by the lovely and talented bailey from the wwe bailey how are you Oh, I'm doing great. How are you this morning? Oh, very good. And uh, you guys are coming to town. The WWE will return to the Floyd L. Mains Veterans Memorial Arena this Sunday. Uh, tickets are still available. You have some great matches going on, and uh, you're going to be one of the stars that are coming. Who, who are you going to be wrestling? Um, I'm going to be in a championship match, luckily, so I will be in a triple threat with uh, myself, the women's champion, Alexa Bliss, and Nikki James. Mm, nice. Uh, yeah, it'll be exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, you became a fan of wrestling at a very young age. I read that. Uh, how old were you, and who were your favorite wrestlers when, when you were watching it as a kid? Um, when I began watching it, I was about 10. Uh, really started getting into it when I was 13. And honestly, like I, I just loved everybody when I was growing up. Uh, everybody during that time, you know, you had Stone Cold, The Rock, Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero, everybody, like Victoria and all them, they were all so great. Um, but my absolute favorites were the Hardy Boys and Lita. Oh. Uh, they were just like the coolest. They were like so cool to me. I was a, a teenager, so I wanted to dress like them. I wanted to like flip like them and do my dye my hair like them and paint my nails. So they were definitely had a big impact on my life. But, um, when I was like 10 or so, I think that the first person that I actually saw was Macho Man. And he's the one that like drew me into wrestling. So that's why I have, um, you know, I have like my gear is inspired by him and just little things that he did. I kind of try to carry with me because he was the one that initially brought me in. Yeah, Macho Man, Randy Savage. He was, uh, yeah. he, he was definitely a, a force to be reckoned with. Now, uh, you've oh, been, do- yeah. you've been doing this for a couple of years now. Uh, any serious injuries? Um, I had a broken hand when I was in NXT, uh, just had to wear a cast. I got to wrestle with it though, so not too bad. And just recently came back from a separated shoulder, but no surgery. So nothing too crazy. Hopefully nothing happens. Um, I've been really lucky. I've been wrestling for about 10 years now, so I've been lucky with no serious injuries. It's got to be painful though. I mean, are there times where you're laying on the mat going, why, why do I do this? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> when I just actually came back from my shoulder injury, I started getting in the ring to get back in ring shape. And like, uh, just like my first, the first thing I landed on the mat and I was like, Oh my God. What? Cause I've been away from it for a couple months. I'm like, why do we do this? Absolutely. It's like, I didn't want to get up. I just want to roll out, <laughs> but, but you know, you get back used to it and get your calluses back. It, the best thing ever. <laughs> gotcha. It's Bailey from the uh, WWE. Now, some of the matches that are coming, uh, Roman Reigns is taking on The Miz for the uh, Intercontinental Championship, and you have uh, Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan versus uh, Ciara and uh, Sheamus for the Tag Team Championship. Yep. Any predictions there? Um. Well, I love Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan because I'm biased. They're my friends, so... Um, you know, they, they're in kind of an odd team because they were just randomly put together but won the tag titles the first night where they were together and, like, they've been going strong. So I'm pulling for them, and I'm a huge Roman Reigns fan. So, uh, you know, over the past year or so that I've been here, he's just been, like, growing on me, and I learned from him so much. So I'm going to have to go with him in that title match as well. Mm. Every time that, you know, every time these title matches are, you know, the titles are on the line at – the live events or at TVs or anything, these guys really like put everything on the line. So there's such great matches. Like you never really know, but those are my picks. Okay, very cool. We'll see, we'll see how that plays out on Sunday at the Floyd L. Mains Veterans Memorial Arena. Again, tickets still available, and they start at just 15 bucks, which is an incredible deal. Now, uh, talking of tag teams and stuff, if you had to pick uh, a woman to become your tag team partner, anybody you could choose, who would it be? Anybody in the past, man. So I'll give you a, one from the past. Of course, it'd be Lita because she was my inspiration and the reason why I you know, told myself I could do this. Um, but if it were someone on the current roster, I would have to go with Sasha Banks. Oh, okay, very cool. And uh, yeah. tell us about the, uh, I saw this uh, mixed uh, match challenge. What can you tell us about that? Well, this is, it's actually really cool because we, it's like intergender tag team wrestling, which we don't get to do very much. And that another thing is that what I grew up loving, you know, you had Matt Hardy and Lita and Crash Holly and Molly Holly and 
China and Eddie and like so many teams that were intergender that they just we just don't get to do very often here. So this is an opportunity for us to take advantage of that and show something to the fans that they don't really get to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's all on Facebook Live. It's the first time ever that we're that Facebook is doing something like this. And it's every Tuesday night starting tomorrow, actually. Um, and we're doing it tournament style and we're all doing it for charity. So it's all, it's so much goodness all around and it's just going to be so much fun. My partner is Elias, Mm -hmm. who is, uh, you know, the man with the guitar. Everybody wants to walk with Elias and I think we have a really good chance. So I'm looking forward to it very much. We're wrestling, um, Rusev and Lana. Okay. And uh, what was your charity that you're donating to? We're, my charity is for AmeriCares. Okay. And that helps people that uh, need help from, like, natural disasters Poverty. and stuff, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Now, do you guys practice as a team now going into this, or is it just like, uh, all right, we'll figure it out when we get there? Well, I know everybody, all the teams kind of have their own uh, strategies or things they're doing. I have trouble uh, getting on the same page with Elias. So we just got teamed teamed up last week, Mm -hmm. and I have yet to find him. I'm at Monday Night Raw right now. So I think Art is going to be a little rocky. He likes to play hard to get, so (laughs) Uh, we'll see. (laughs) All right, cool. Now, uh, what would you be doing if you you weren't wrestling? Um, You know what? Man, if I never became a wrestler, I always – I took a lot of psychology classes when I was doing a community college and something that I had to take like a lot of counseling from my parents being divorced. So that was something that I I really like learned a lot from and I thought it had a huge impact on me. And um, so I started taking the the psychology classes, all kinds of stuff and really fell in love with it. And I always said, if wrestling didn't work out, that's something that I would want to do and maybe become a counselor at um, an elementary school or something. Oh, very cool. Uh, it's Bailey from the WWE. Do you think those psychology classes help you in the ring? Do you, like, screw with people's heads? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I think they help. Uh, I think they help me uh, dealing with a lot of uh, mental toughness that you need working um, in the WWE. So I think it helps me a lot. Um, but I haven't thought about using it to my advantage in the ring. I'm going to have to try to psych some people out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Start talking <laughs> crap in the ring and see what they do. Uh, yeah, now, uh, yeah. what do, what you said your parents, uh, you know, get divorced, but when you were growing up and you told them you wanted to become a professional wrestler, what was their response? Uh, well, my dad was the one who got me into it, and he was, you know, he was like watching it, and that's how I saw it the first time. So he was, like, ecstatic, and he was always, always behind me, always believed in me. But my mom was a little... Um, she didn't know how to feel about it, and she also didn't know how serious I was about it. She probably thought I was going to, like, grow out of it. Mm-hmm. But the, from the day I started training, when I turned 18, um, she was behind me 100%. She's like, all right, well, I guess she's really doing this. And she's been to every – she went to every single show that I had back in California before I came to WWE. She's been to all my NXT championship matches. Um, she came to WrestleMania last year, and – She's just like the hugest supporter now. So it's, awesome. it all worked out. <laughs> I cool. showed her. There you go. All right, Bailey from the WWE, thank you for spending time with us today. Good luck on uh, Sunday. We'll be rooting for you and uh, throughout the year. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you guys. All right. Damn, dress warm. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. Again, WWE at the Floyd L. Mains Veterans Memorial Arena this Sunday. Uh, showtime is at 5 o'clock. Tickets start at just 15 bucks, and you can get those at the Arena Box Office and uh, Ticketmaster Outlets as well.